Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another BJ and Co. Sky Factory tutorial video. Today we're continuing on, and we are going to be hunting down some green energy achievements today. Uh, in particular, we are going to look at collecting ore from the void with a void ore miner structure. Uh, if you guys have been enjoying this series, smash that like button to show us that you do. And if you want to help support us, subscribe to the channel for updates when all of our new content goes live. We're slowly creeping up on a thousand subscribers, and we greatly appreciate your help getting there, guys. Ah, uh, but, uh, oh, and if you also want to support us, duh, I'm looking straight at it. Check out Patreon, guys. We greatly appreciate Yo Man and all of the support that he's given us over there. And uh, if you want to help us out, too, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and if you got anything fun to say, questions, concerns, comments, throw it down below. And thank you to that living troll. You stopped by every, of the, every single one of these videos. We appreciate it. So thank you, our comment king. Uh, but uh, let's 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 do this guys. So we've been dealing a little bit of environmental tech We've got a solar panel we got a lightning rod, but we are going to do uh, Some void ore today. Uh, so this guy this digital WIP that you got right here uh, you, you get it when you spawn into the world This gives you a good idea of what you need if you just mouse over a page We're just gonna do tier one today So we're looking for 24 structure blocks 20 machine bases two laser cores and a clear laser lens plus the controller block so what we need for all that sort of stuff is let's just spell properly so environmental tech here guys uh so we need these structure blocks the tier one structure blocks the easiest one for you guys to get because we can't actually get the alabaster and basalt yet is the hardened stone structure blocks all it takes is gold redstone and hardened stone hardened stone is just cobblestone and stone together so you should have all the resources you need to make the 24 of those that you need then we also need these machine casings and again you want to go with the hardened stone one at this point in time and this one is fairly simple you need that hardened stone again you need redstone you need gold nuggets and then you need iron bars so this time you need a bit of iron six iron makes 16 iron bars so you should be able to make plenty of these we need 20 in the end the harder pieces to make, well, not really. We need the clear lens. Clear lens is just clear glass, which is nether quartz and sand together making enriched sand. Enriched sand in a furnace, smelt to clear glass. And then we need this lens in the middle, which is just three more clear glass. We then have the laser core. The laser core, we need four clear glass, two iron, two redstone. Boom, simple and easy. So we're gonna wanna make two clear lenses and three laser cores. That's because these two we need as pieces for the void resource that's not the one i'm looking for we're looking for the void or minor controller to start with and this one here we need four blocks of gold the clear lens the laser core a block of quartz which is just four and other quartz together and then the hard part of this piece is we need iron ore and diamond ore you can't get this in sky factory three through sifting through crafting there's no way to do that if you actually click on one of these shows you the only way to get it is through the device that we're trying to make right now Whoa. However, there is a way to get them. Uh, and we did in previous episodes travel to the dimension that we need to, but there are different dimensions that aren't complete voids that we can use. So we'll be using the beneath for this, but before we go into there, you are going to need something with the silk tuck modifier on it, right? Because if you just mine it, you're just gonna get the diamonds, you're just gonna get the iron. And that is not going to be, well, you'll get the iron ore, but the diamonds you won't get. So. What we're gonna have to do here is make some sort of tool. I find Tinker is the easiest way to do this. So if you go into Tinker's, I, I mean, I've made manual one, but you could friggin' make a stone pickaxe for all you care uh, with the three pieces. And then we want to get the uh, silk touch modifier on it. So that can be done by applying a silky jewel. And the silky jewel is just silky cloth around an emerald and silky cloth is just string and gold which again you should have no problem getting that super baseline when it comes to sky factory 3 if you need if you have questions just let me know down below but there we go guys we've got silky on uh, a pickaxe so we can go to the beneath we've got our beneath teleporter here if you don't know how to get to the beneath there's a card linked that will take you there and i gotta be careful because something just spawned in my world <sighs> ben why you no know light things properly Smack, 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 smack. Actually, it's probably a pigment, to be honest, because that's where my uh, thing is. So we're in the beneath, and we went ahead. I did uh, save us a bit of time, and I've actually marked out what I need. So we need a piece of diamond ore. And there we go. And then we need a piece of iron ore as well. So we're just go, not gold, iron. There we go. We got the two pieces that we need. So we can go right, right, diamond ore, iron ore. We can go right back to our portal. 
And I mean, those they're fairly simple things to find in the beneath. There's lots of ores all around here, so you should have no problem. No problem getting your hands on it. And that should be every last piece that we need. So let's make our uh, void ore miner. And then show you guys how to assemble this thing. So we need the void ore miner tier one controller. Throw that all in. Boom, baby, baby. La, 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 la. So, the, um, we're figuring out where we're going to put this. So this structure is going to take seven wide by seven long. That's your X and Z positions. And then your Y is your height, which is four. And this one, you'll notice it actually specifies on the previous page, multi-block position is below the controller. So that means that wherever you put the controller, everything else will build beneath it. So we are going to just go on over here and I may have already sort of set something up for this. So we need, it's going to be four high. So our controller is going to be the fourth block. We're just going to get that guy right there. And then why not just hang out on my wire if I can. So we've got this place where we need it to be. We want to get rid of all the pieces that we've placed underneath. And then we'll want to get an assembler. Uh, if you do not know how to get the assembler, guys, it's just obsidian with a uh, tier two structure block. So you'll want to go with the hardened one. It's not hard to get at all. And then once you have this, all you have to do is right click on it and it will slowly build itself. Oh, you can see it's putting the, the structure blocks on the outside. It's putting the machine casings. It's placing everything that we need down. I wonder if we can see. No, oh, we haven't started getting the stuff in the middle yet. There, there's a casing going in. And there we go. It has been uh, completed and we've got the achievement. Now, this needs power. So of course we'll have to we'll have to give it some power. Right now, uh, I don't know if we can click on it to see see where it's at with anything, but if we give it power right there, that should be allowing it to, to do some work. We'll also want to put something that it can store into directly on it. So we're gonna go there. But nothing, nothing sticking out. Why, why is that? Well, if we look in the digital WIP, it specifically says the bottom laser core must be able to see bedrock. Any block below laser core must let light through. So we built this right on our stone structure. So we're just going to find the middle. It's three wide, so four, five, six. So six tiles in is where I need to dig down right on here. So that's one, two, three, four, five and six shit well we'll find out there we go there's our laser ore down and we can see it is now it was shooting yeah there we go every once in a while it shoots a laser down probably it actually it's funny how it depends on where i'm looking as soon as the controller's off my screen it doesn't and we should see we're starting to get some oil. there's some coal there's some lapis so there we go, guys. Now, it should be fairly easy for us, too, to now pipe this in. We could be putting this into an ender storage crate or um, anything that we can somehow tie back into our system, <coughs> which we'll look after a little later on. I am uh, i don't do things fancy on the stream. I just, uh, I just like to enjoy it. We got some glowstone there, too. Now, if we want to, there are ways that we can... Um, change what it's hunting for so like if we if we just search for ore here uh if we want to get diamond ore right we're better off putting a cyan lens in if we would rather get redstone we're better off putting a red lens in if we want ben oh no, no we can't get that one yellow right we need a green lens. interesting yellow right needs green what the hell um i'm trying to think if there's any other funky ores that we can get here there i mean i don't think we can get draconium dust holy son of a gun flat colored blocks that's cool that's so cool i've never looked at those before i wonder oh here we go here they are the prosperity i mean we might be able to get some of these ones i don't think so this is literally my first time working with this mod to be honest so it's uh, gonna be neat to see what all spits out for it i wonder if i can get some cobalt uh, there we go. There's the, the cobalt ore. So this is if we put a blue lens in and the ardite. 
is probably going to want a uh, void or minor with a orange lens. So this might be something that you, we do at some point is to adjust what we're picking up. I mean, we have got a piece of artite already and some bauxite and some lead. Like, so we're getting a nice variety of things here. But uh, just another way to supplement what's coming into your system, give you a more variety of things to use. Specifically, the cobalt, cobalt and the ardite will be nice if you're planning on doing a bunch of Tickner's weapons and things. Um, and if, if you want to switch it up, this is where the clear lens is. You just need to break it out and put down the new one with the color. And all they take is, again, a bit of coloring here. So we just take the right kind of dye uh, onto the clear lens and we can do it. And you can take the color off just by crafting that colored one and it'll bring it back to clear so fairly simple and easy guys but that's that that is how to make a void or minor you can go to um higher levels of these things the uh void or minor like we said we did the first one it's it has so much it costs so 32,000. It can hold a million. Duration is 40 ticks. Minimum is 40, 400 ticks. Sorry, 400, 400. As we increase the tier two, the tier three, the tier four, the duration goes down, as well as the uh, RF per duration goes down as well. So, I mean, this is this is kind of the good one here. The duration actually doesn't change, but the power costs halves, and you can start to have some modifiers on them here as we go further down. So you can increase the speed of mining all that sort of thing so experiment see what works well with you guys and uh go from there there is i believe now that we have this uh the environmental tech the basalt oh no we need the void resource miner next so now that we've tackled this first one guys if you want to start using some of the basalt and albuster we might have to uh oh well we could have done this separately too but that is something that we can look at doing with the lenses. Uh, you do have to get your home head hands on the mossy stone and stone and netherrack. But at this point, you should be able to puzzle your way through that. If you want me to let you know how, throw it down in the comments below. I always like to see what you guys like to see. But that's it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this and found it helpful, smash that like button to let us know and subscribe to the channel for updates when all of our content goes live and just to give us some support. Uh, if you want to join the community in uh, many different ways, look down below in the description. We've got all sorts of links to the, where we have our presence. Our big one is our Discord. We'd love to hang out with all of our viewers there. But uh, we've got a Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, all that fun stuff. Uh, and yeah, that's it for this week, guys. I'll see you back next Monday with the next episode of this Sky Factory series and uh, if not or if you want to catch more of our fun stuff in between we put my videos out Monday, Wednesday and Friday at this point plus we do a Tuesday live stream so hope you see you there and if you guys are seeing this on Monday you might even get a special stream tonight there's talk of Jackbox being out tonight and we might be tackling it so if you want to join in the fun there check us out uh, 7pm MSP MST thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you all in the next one bye